Hello, welcome to Work Long Day 2022. My name is Eric Andre. I'm the president of the Plum Foundation, and today we're going to talk about the Plum Foundation. First thing is, you probably know Plum as the open source CMS written in Python more than 20 years of history. But Plum is more than a CMS, it's more than the software. Plum is also a community a worldwide, very friendly community. And this community used to, uh, uh, is mostly online, but also gathers from time to time for sprints, hackathons, uh, conference, and other meetups. But Plon is also a foundation. And we are going to talk about the foundation now. The foundation exists to support the community, to support the community, especially when it comes to make sure the community has everything it needs to, to thrive and to maintain the leading open source CMS. It was founded in 2004. It is a 501, uh, 501 C3 nonprofit organization based in the United States. It's the owner of the code of loan, all its trademarks and its domains. It provides a decision-making structure. It provides a legal means for the community to express itself. Also, it ensures that as Plon grows, it remains a level playing field. It uh, it exists to avoid the situation where there's a hostile takeover of the community or when one company misuses the, the, the communal resources provided uh, by Plon. Also, it acts as the official voice of Plon and in Marti, uh, it do, uh, do all the top level marketing of Plon telling what Plon is and uh, how do you get Plon and so on and so forth. But everything can be summarized in one word, is based in one uh, sentence, that's our mission. The mission of the Plon Foundation is to promote and protect Plon. The foundation, it's important, but the foundation does not control the community. The foundation does not direct the development of loan. The foundation does not help a company uh, 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 that sells loan. In, uh, it provides a, a, a playing level field for everyone. So the goal of the Plone community is to promote and protect Plone and that includes the Plone ecosystem, all its social providers around the world. To do so, we have a formal structure. The most important of it, it's our membership. It's a group of people selected from the uh, all our community members, and they are selected based on merit. Only those that had made significant uh, contributions and uh, lasting contributions to the general Plum community are accepted as members of the Plum Foundation. You basically uh, uh, nominate yourself. You write a clear explanation why you deserve to be part of the Plum Foundation. And then the membership committee goes there evaluates your nomination and makes uh, an assessment uh, suggesting to the board that we're going to talk later if you should be accepted or not. We have two states of membership. Either you are an active member, meaning that every year you go there and you renew your membership. You basically say, okay, I still want to be part uh, a active member of the Plum Foundation or we have uh, a level that's emeritus members. If you do not renew your membership, then you are uh, uh, converted to emeritus members. All emeritus members can go back and uh, request to be uh, uh, active members. All they need to do is send out one email. Right now we have 277 members. 
106 of them are active, 171 are emeritus. We have members for from every continent. We have members that are really active in the community nowadays, and we have emeritus members that were there in the beginning back in 2004, 2005, and they retired, they moved to other technologies or, or even uh, started uh, another business. But the whole point is, if you have uh, enduring and significant contribution to the Prolong community, you are welcome to be part of the foundation and help us make decisions. One of these decisions early is to select the board of directors. The board of directors is the, the structure inside the foundation that uh, basically takes care of daily operations and makes sure that the community is heard and uh, acts on uh, any trademark issues, acts on any violation of the code of conduct. It's elected, as I said, yearly by the membership. So every time we have uh, more than seven uh, candidates, we have a vote. The last year we had set seven candidates to seven positions, so no vote. But uh, I believe back in 2019, we had uh, uh, a voting with 10 candidates. So the, the membership voted to select the board of directors. And the board is, found, is formed by seven voting members, the elected members, uh, and then a treasurer with, uh, that takes care of our finances but has uh, no voting rights. We think the board, during the first meeting of the, the, the year after the board is elected, they elected between themselves a president, a vice president, and a secretary. The president uh, leads the, the, the meetings. The vice president helps in meetings when the president is not present, present. and the secretary takes care of uh, the minutes and uh, publicizing and uh, uh, getting new members to be part of the foundation and uh, converting emeritus members to active members. We meet every two weeks. In every single uh, meeting, we publish the minutes on uh, plon.org slash foundation slash meetings slash minutes. Also, we have a uh, email board at plon.org where you can write to ask questions, to, uh, to ask for support in any way that the Foundation Meaningful can help you. Besides that, the board, we have teams and committees. We have two of those that are part of our bylaws. The first one is the membership committee that selects who's going to be part of our membership, who's going to be part of the Plum Foundation. It's led this, uh, this year by Victor Fernandez de Alba, and by T. Kim Niguyen. We also have another uh, team that's part of our bylaw, that's the marketing team, that's led by Hiko Pekka. Besides that, we have admin infrastructure led by Fred, documentation that's led right now by Steve Piercy, training led by Philip Bauer, framework that's led by Alexander, uh, Ale Alessandro Pisa, Google Summer of Code team that's led by Eric Brejo, Guillotina led by Ramon, internationalization that's uh, uh, it's really important for us because it's the team that takes care of the, all the translations that uh, that Blon has. Installers takes care of all possible forms of Blon installation release team, security team. This is the team that takes care every time there's a new security announcement. They are the ones that uh, uh, go get the CV, make the announcement and so on and so forth. We have the Voto team for the new user interface of Plon uh, 6 and beyond. We have the Zope team 
that uh, Zope is the application server and the set of libraries we use to build the Plon CMS, and the conference team that takes care of organizing a conference every year. Besides that, we have three sub-communities. The biggest one is the Zoop sub-community. That's uh, who takes care of all the, the, the legacy of the former Zoop Foundation that was merged with the Plum Foundation a few, uh, few years ago. The Zoop team makes releases of Zoop, uh, make sure all the code base is OK. We have the guillotina. Uh, sub community that uh, takes care of the guillotina application server, uh, a guillotina framework. And we have Voto, that's a, sub, a small sub community that takes care of uh, the user uh, experience aspects of the new uh, versions of Loom. It's really important to, to point out that all of this is supported by our uh, sponsors and donors. I ask you to please support the Plum Foundation. You can start with $5 a month or uh, one-time contribution is good enough. We have different level for companies, premium, standard, basic, and university. We are not talking about values here. The, the, the value you need to, to, to invest for each one because it also depends on the size of your organization. But go to plum.org uh, plum foundation slash donors to have an idea. And then, of course, individual donors. Uh, right now, you can uh, donate going to foundation slash donors using our PayPal form there or using GitHub uh, sponsors program, uh, github.com slash plon on top, sponsor, go there. Every single donation, every sponsorship is reverts to Sprint conference organization, travel support for community members. For the past two years, we've been, uh, uh, we've been having online conference, so it sounds strange, but before that, Every single time we have a Google Summer of Code student, we pay for their trip to the annual conference for them to be part of the community. We also pay for our release managers to travel around the world for sprints. We also support sprints organization. So uh, we are going to have in the following weeks, now beginning of May, two big sprints, Beethoven sprint, uh, happening in Bonn and Bucharest, and uh, Bushenchank Sprint happening uh, in Austria. So go there, take a look. Please join us. Would be awesome to have you as part of the foundation. To become a member, go to plon.org slash foundation slash members. We are going to have a presentation about joining the, the, the Plon Foundation during World Plum Day, so search for the Join the Plum Foundation. We also have our forum, our GitHub, uh, follow us on Twitter and join us on Discord. It is important that if you're using Plum, be part of the community, have a voice, make sure that we know what you're doing with Plum, what do you need? That's the only way that we will make uh, we will keep making Plone relevant over time. And I would like to thank you and invite you to watch more presentations during World Plone Day. Thank you all.